Hey, you brain rot dweller. Let's go over what macroeconomics is in under two minutes. Macroeconomics is looking at the big picture of how a country's economy works instead of focusing on individual people or businesses. It's all about understanding things like how much stuff a country makes, called GDP, how fast prices are going up, inflation, how many people can't find jobs, unemployment, and whether the economy is growing or shrinking. Think of it as studying the whole forest, not just one tree, to figure out what keeps everything running smoothly or why things might be going wrong. For example, macroeconomists might look at why prices are rising too fast and suggest ways to cool things down, using simple math or data to track trends and make predictions. Macroeconomics has a huge effect on how governments and central banks make decisions to keep the economy stable. Governments rely on macroeconomists to analyze data and suggest fiscal policies like changing taxes or spending more on things like roads or schools to boost jobs or control inflation. Central banks, like the Federal Reserve, use macroeconomic insights to tweak monetary policies, such as raising or lowering interest rates, which affects how much people borrow or spend. This influence is powerful because their advice can shape whether the economy grows, stays steady, or avoids a crisis, impacting everything from your paycheck to the price of groceries. To get into macroeconomics, you usually start with a bachelor's degree in economics, which is enough for entry-level jobs like working as a data analyst in government or a bank, earning around fifty dollars to $70,000 a year. If you want to climb higher, like becoming a policy advisor or researcher, a master's degree or PhD is often needed, especially for big roles at places like the World Bank or universities. With those advanced degrees, you could earn $100,000 or more, especially if you land a senior position in consulting or international organizations. 